What is your plan for the future of PGW, which is the nation's largest public gas utility? It's not common for a city to own a gas utility. In fact, Philadelphia is one of only a few cities across the nation that owns its own gas utility. And Philadelphia has not always managed this gas utility well. And in distinction, uh, that's not such a great one. Our rates tend to be high. Our service has gotten better, but tends to be spotty. And uh, when you look at the amount of money that PGW brings to the city, which is the, the primary feature of owning a gas works in other cities, well, it's not so much. And in fact, in recent years, we stopped getting that dividend for a while. So definitely we should take a look at, does it make sense to turn this thing into an asset that can truly generate quality uh, service, lower rates, and a dividend for the city, or is it impossible to do that? The controller who sits on the gas commission should absolutely be involved in this, making sure that any of the assumptions, what can we sell it for, what will the rates be, what will happen to workers, what will happen to people who are currently benefiting from social services programs being uh, used by the PGW to keep rates low for individuals who can't pay, make sure we audit every single uh, assumption before we move forward. But absolutely, when you look across the country, it is not common to own a gas works, and the places that do own gas works use it to uh, generate economic development and dividends for the city. If we can do that for the city, that would be nice. If we can't do that, we should absolutely consider a sale. Okay, so it would be safe to say that your view is not settled then. Okay. Let's see the numbers. Well, I, I agree that it's a question of seeing the numbers and seeing if it makes sense. It doesn't surprise me in the slightest that Brett would take the Mitt Romney approach to this as he has on so many other economic issues, uh, and be for privatization for privatization's sake. Consider this one thing. There, the, the gas works is at about minus $1.5 billion. The best that has been indicated that we can get out of the sales is about $300 million. So people have piously said we could put this in the pension fund. But you know what the reality of Philadelphia government is? If we got $300 million this year, you know where it would go? It would go into reducing the tax rate because of the ABI shock. And that money would be squandered, as opposed to the $18 million a year that we get in rent. Secondly, we are sitting on a gold mine right now in terms of international demand for liquefied natural gas. We're near the Marcellus Shale. We've got facilities. We're on the port. Gasworks has been well run since Tom Newton ran it. We're in a position as a city to make an enormous a profit on these facilities, and Brett wants to give it away to private industry because that's what right-wing economic ideologues want to do. And I get a chance to say something. <laughs> <laughs> now, in 10 seconds, yeah. thank you. Um, for a personal attack, um, Philadelphia is an outlier, and when we say if we should change things, the response is, you're a Republican, you're a... <laughs> So, so much. Okay, change. Brett, I'm going to cut this off and go to the actual Republican. <laughs> I think I burned this one. <laughs> I'm really glad I wasn't the first one to get that. You got done yourself right. And I know it's not true. Um, look, any recommendation that you would take proceeds from AVI and sit, or from a potential sale of PGW and send it to AVI is patently absurd. And the reason for that is because we have a $5 billion pension ticking time bomb that will suck up almost every core function of the city government in the next couple of years if we don't do something about it. So should we be lucky enough to be able to privatize PGW and get those proceeds to reorient our financial infrastructure and, and stop that ticking time bomb, it would be a blessing, folks. It would be a big blessing. But look, that said, it's all about getting back to the core municipal functions of government. Uh, Philadelphia's problem is that it tries to do so many things that it can't. And if you can't do it well, that's fine, folks who can. And this is a perfect example. Now, look, I, I don't have all the details because I don't sit in Alan's office and do this all day long every day. But I certainly wish I had more details, and I think you ought to, too, and I think that's really the point. But, you know, the idea, the idea that any, any potential valid sale that could raise close to a billion dollars for the city of PGW, if, if it all adds up and the workers are protected and the service is right and we have our social safety net in place and all those things align, and look, that stars aligning, I get it. But if we could do that, who would say no?